All right, people. Today I'm going to show you how I made my 90s model club cart DS. Turned it from electric to gas. And I'll show you some of the things I did to it. Not every golf cart's the same. Some things are different. But uh, we're going to start right here at the engine cover. Give your standard throttle and gas. Standard steering. Seating arrangements. A little bit redneck because I don't want to spend the money on the proper stuff. But the whole cart itself is a bare frame chassis, you know, with the plastics and all, for a hundred bucks. And then what I've put into it is roughly about 200 something. So I've got a fully functional golf cart for 300 bucks. And it pulls trailer, it does anything, does 16 miles an hour, it does everything I need it. But first thing we come to, the silver switch here. That's on, that's off. That kills the motor. And back on again. So right now, you could pull the handle and it would start. Take the cover off. We'll go in here. You have custom uh, throttle linkage. This is your original one. This would have gone to the electric linkage that would have controlled how much power you sent to the motor itself. I made this little rinky dink thing out of some stump, just random stuff. Going to throttle cable. Throttle cable goes all the way back around, comes back to the carburetor. The fuel system, just a stock tank from the engine. Little fuel filter down underneath it. Line comes up to a pulse fed vacuum pump, runs to the carburetor. Exhaust because engine wouldn't clear underneath the seat if you had the stock exhaust and air box on here. That's why this is there also. But I would have turned it sideways like this, the box, but it interferes with this pulley. So I ran it all the way down over here, faced it down so all the hot uh, exhaust runs out. Have a little brace there to keep it from breaking the welds like it's done about 50 times. As for, you have your standard go-kart uh, TAV2 clutch on here, belt driven. Goes down to chain drive have some custom pulleys I made back here idler tensioner that's on all thread coming up to here which it's spring loaded and adjustable where you can adjust how tight your chain is right now I have a little bit of slack in it just not much you don't want it to come off the sprockets when you're doing 16 it gets pretty ugly then I have what this is going on back here is that's the original input shaft for the electric motor. So you think of the electric motor, the shaft sticking out the middle, that's what that is, minus the copper windings. Took the copper windings off, brought it to a machine shop and had these sprockets welded on there. Originally I was going to use this one, but it's too small. It's a imperial standard size. This one is the number 40 size I have on here. And then since I bought one, I bought two. That's the spare down here the spare for that one and it works as an idler. Now for how I attached it to the cart, you look down here, you can see the stock aluminum frame and then I bolted on the steel one that I made, welded up together and I just bolted it on there with an engine plate. Same deal on, well, can't see it too well. Same deal on the back, just bolted it too. That's basically it. It's pretty simple once you get to it. I did have to notch the frame a little bit to clear for the motor. Let's see if I can get a good close up on that. Go down here, see the motor, I had to notch out a good bit of frame, but I notched as little as possible. And you still have the frame on the other side and then all this battery racks and all of that. And then that's that. She'll do about 16. She runs real well. We'll even give you a little test.
and that's that. I'll do about 16. I may do a ride video later on, but that's all you wrote for this one.